Hello again everyone. Hi, welcome back to our Breath of Truth segment brought to you by God's Heart Our Mission. Um, I'm so glad that you tuned in, you took the time out just to really, you know, join us as we unpack the Bible because really this is what this entire uh, podcast is about. We are just here to dwell into the Word of God, to learn from one another, to share with each other that which the Spirit speaks unto us, you know. Um, I don't know if many of you tuned in last time, we were actually discussing, just getting started with the book of Genesis. I gave the outline about what is it that was to come in terms of it because we're really going to take our time when we dwell in each book as we go along out of the 66 books of the Bible. So just to give you a brief summary, we discussed about mostly the creation, where it all began, you know, um, God having created um, the heavens, the earth and everything in it and then him creating um, us in his image, which is the human race. And that's what I want to pick from basically. But before I do that, I would just like to take this moment to introduce my guests around the table. Thank you again, once again, Ms. Fatima for coming in. Um, many of you know her, yes, she's part of the family. Um, she's here again, we're still gonna continue with this because I felt it was so powerful. Like last time you spoke, like literally stating, you know, it's still at the back of my head, how Genesis speaks to the foundation of all, the origin of where everything mm. began. It was so powerful and just once again, welcome back. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Um, Thank I you, really appreciate everyone. you being here and just sharing, you know, with everybody else that which God lays in your heart. And to my left, I still have Mama Lebu Sekhaichu. Um, she was here with us last time and she was the one really now layering out and really bringing everything into an orderly perspective in terms of what God had in mind. Because remember, we serve a God who is orderly, yes. a God of order. There's no disorder in the things of God and um, you know she went on to begin like I said with creation and then we're just going on now mostly to really really dwell into God having created the human race in his image and what that entails from a spiritual perspective because it just doesn't end there because we serve a spiritual God you know God is spirit so with that mama welcome back you happy to thank you here. so much i'm very happy to very excited wonderful we're looking forward to hear a lot more coming from that you know what guys i would like to encourage you when you have the elder people that are fearful you know yeah. uh, they're after god's heart and they've got a lot of knowledge i'm speaking to the youth now because me and fatima we're still kind of like they the youth we are youth then we're just <laughs> yes <saying>. we are <laughs> so people our age please i would really encourage you any younger make time learn from your dad your aunties your grandmas your elders mm, people from the community there's so much wisdom so much knowledge that of god that they can actually you can learn from they can carry down unto you then you can then pass on to your children don't be lazy to engage with the elderly people even the bible speaks about that um but it should be those elderly people that are doing the things of god and they are working in the path of righteousness and doing everything everything according to the book but I promise you there's so much you can learn and then you take still out of what they've taught you you go back to the Bible for yourself yes. and you find out what is it that they were talking about and you've got questions don't be shy to ask there's nothing embarrassing to ask about God myself and Fatima we don't have the knowledge that mom has and that's a fact she's lived longer than us yes. she's gone to sermons she preaches she does all these things but we are here because we are hungry for the word of God, we want to learn from the word of God. Yes. So it's time that we also, as the youth, engaged in things that are to our own benefit, that are constructive, and at the end of the day, it's gonna service you and people around you. So it's not a waste of time to read the Bible. It's not a waste of time to engage in conversations that speak of God. He tells us to do that. So without me going on, because I know I can carry on, let me just dive straight into it. So mom, last time I'll start with you. Last time we, 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 we we went on to, like I said, discuss creation and then we were just touching a little bit on how they transitioned from God and after the six days he had created creation and then he was he had created man and then you were really unpacking that for us. Won't you just pick up from there so that you can um, continue on as we learn with you on the book of Genesis. Thank you, Masmo. Thank, 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 thanks, Taba Masmo. And thanks, Fatima, to be here. I'm so grateful, guys. Um, we just uh, sort of um, embarked on the creation um, by God, the Almighty Lord. Now, now, we are going to dwell a little bit into the human race that has been brought into this world by the very same God who created everything. Now, from the beginning of things, after the Lord created the spiritual beings, he decided now to create the human race. Now, the first person to be created by the power of the very same God that we are talking about is Adam. Mm -hmm. 
So after Adam was created by the Lord himself, taking it, Fatima, from the spiritual beings that he created before, now you must remember, I love it when you reminded me last time and said to me, but these beings that were created, they didn't have the names. Mm -hmm. Why Adam and Eve have got the names? Mm -hmm. The reason is being that those were the spiritual beings. Now, when we talk about Adam and Eve, we talk about the human race. Right, okay. Now, Adam was created. The Lord was very happy. This man was stationed or positioned into the Garden of, Garden Eden. of Eden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Garden of Eden was the place that the Lord located, that the Lord chose, that the Lord saw fit for human life to survive on. Right. right. That is why he decided to put uh, Adam there in the Eden of, in the Garden of Eden. Eden. Yes. Why? Because everything was there. Right. Remember when the Lord created uh, the world and the earth, he said, you must take control of everything. Yes, now right. there is the Garden of Eden for Adam to take control of. Correct. He was living there with no problems. Mm -hmm. But the truth of everything is, Adam was actually representative of the spiritual being. Mm -hmm. From the spiritual God. beings that the Lord created oh, okay. without the names. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Now he could see that Adam was very lonely. So he said, I must actually create somebody else to accompany this Adam because Adam is so lonely. Mm -hmm. No, it shows us that no man is an island. That's right. You have to have somebody to give way. Amen. But you must have the same spiritual well being. Well, background. Yeah, that is yeah. why. Eve was not created from anything else. Eve was created by God taking one of the ribs that mm -hmm. belonged to, to, to Adam to create Eve. That's right. Meaning Eve is part of Adam. who Adam is. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, they were living there. I'm touching Eve and Adam. Ne? Now, in this very uh, 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 Garden of Eden, there was the tree that was called uh, the, the tree, tree of knowledge. Of the the tree of what it was the tree of, of life and of knowledge is that, that's right knowledge and of the the tree of the good and uh, the tree of knowledge I know those things I know that there was true it was the tree of knowledge and life because of the evil and good evil and good they they were not supposed to eat of eat. yeah the tree the of life of the tree uh, yes uh, uh. <laughs> what happened is that. Remember, you must never ever forget that Adam is a spiritual being. Eve represents the human nature. Yes. Now, they have to come together mm -hmm. to make one thing. Mm -hmm. But now what happened is, the Lord wanted actually to show us that the heaven and the earth, they are separate and different entities. Yes. But the one that is more powerful than the other one is heavens, because that's where the throne is. That's where the throne is. The earth is here, is where the food is too, for the Lord who created us. That's right. Now, what happened was that, Fatima, because in this world where we live, mm. Eve was taken, you know, by, not by surprise, but he, because there are so many temptations in this world right. that you are living in. You ask yourself a question, <laughs> why was Eve tempted and no, why okay. was Adam not tempted? Mm -hmm. Are we together? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I'm with you. Yes, I'm are with you. Are we together? You. Yes, I'm we are. You. The answer is, Adam was the spiritual. Mm -hmm. This one is of human nature. Oh, okay. So this one of name, uh, human nature belongs to the human nature, so, which is this world. That, that is what's suitable There's for that. Right. Uh, There's yes. right. Oh, yes. So that is why Eve decided to take the apple and gave it to trying to contaminate the spirit. The spirit managed now Adam. Exactly. Yes. That's where the sin was born. That's right. If you look into the New Testament, Fatima, it says, the one who says I have never sinned is mm. telling a lie. Mm. Because look where the sin started. Yes. Right. Now. 
let's leave a little bit um uh, 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 go a little bit forward from a uh, 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 and if and jump over to noah mm -hmm. yeah. noah comes from the family tree of adam and eve all right because remember adam and eve they gave birth to um adam Cain to, to Cain 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 and abel. abel and then Cain killed abel. abel why it was because of envy because of envy and jealousy and jealousy right reason being that the lord before you are born fatima he will know who to use and who to anoint and who to set aside as compared to the other one right or against another hmm. one now he decided to love abel more than cain mm -hmm. because he knows us before we are born. born in our mother's wounds yes he can he can see our hearts yes. and our spirits before you are born so he makes a choice mm -hmm. of who he wants before even you can you come into this world abel and then cain was put aside mm -hmm. now because of jealousy that is existent in this world, because of envy that is here in this world, because of everything that uh, don't belong uh, to the Lord, they are existent in this world. That is why the world is like this today. Mm -hmm. So this envy, jealousy, whatever, whatever doesn't start today, they have been there a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Now it even pushed him to kill his younger brother. And he died. But now, the Bible says, Abel's uh, voice is still heard. Mm -hmm. yes. Because his blood, blood is still, died. still crying out. Yes. We leave it there. Uh -huh. Now we come to Noah, who comes from the family tree of the very same uh, Adam mm -hmm. and the very mm -hmm. same mm -hmm. Eve. Now. They gave birth to the son who was called Shem. Mm -hmm. Now this Noah comes actually from the Shem's family downwards. Okay. Now Noah had three sons, mm -hmm. but the one that was in God's favor than the rest was who? Cute. So uh, I, do you remember? Uh, <laughs> I love to check in the Bible. I think it Noah was, said, wasn't it Ab uh, Abram? Who is that? They had three. Yes, they had three. Yes, and Noah yes. had three sons. Yes, yes, yes. Um, the was, one was cursed. Uh, the young son Jaf Japheth. It was Japheth. It was Ham and Shem. It was Shem. Yes. The one who yes. fell into the God's hands of favoritism was Shem. Shem. Okay. okay. The Shem, the great, 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 great father to Abraham. Oh, okay, okay. Now, if you look okay. into, if oh, you look in, if you look into the generations, age. you can see that one is chosen, the rest are being left aside. That For is each so family, true. but For the Lord family. is not unfair, because I said the Lord can see who is who in the world sure, before you are born. Get here. You see, so <sighs> Noah was born, and Noah had three sons. Noah was God fearing man. Yes, he was. Mm. He was. God feared. Hence, therefore, he's the only one who survived mm -hmm. when the floods destroyed the whole world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because the people were sinning. Mm -hmm. So he was the only one who was faithful to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord rescued him from the floods. Okay. Yes, that's right. But that's right. he didn't rescue him alone. Mm -hmm. He rescued him with his family, and the three sons, together with the their wives. three wives. Mm -hmm together with some animals that the, the Lord wanted. Well, he said, everything that I've created must be put in the ark yeah, so that we can survive mm -hmm. until the floods, because the Lord wanted to destroy the first world because he was not happy about the sin that was there. That's right. And then he created another world. Mm -hmm. Now, the Noah's family, after the floods, those who were born after the floods were the second generation. Okay. The first generation, perished with the first world. Right. Now, after the floods, it was the second generation. Okay. Are we together? Now, Noah had to build the ark for protection pieces. Right. Yeah? Because in the Old Testament, the Lord was very demonstrative. Yeah? Yes. The Lord will tell you, this is the architectural plan 
that I'm giving to you, you build this. He was very demonstrative. Very specific also. Yeah. Very specific as well. Because the Lord knows what he's doing. Right. And whatever he does, there is a reason behind that. Mm -hmm. Not only the reason, the holy reason for yeah. doing that. Yes. And whatever he creates. Now, Noah, because he was God-fearing, he survived. The Bible says, the Lord opened the taps beneath the earth. Yes. You come spiritual and talk about this. And up there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the and it says, the... it covered even the tallest mountains mm. ever. Mm. Everything disappeared under the water. Mm. It was only the ark that was floating on mm. top of that. Right. Mm. And it says, it got stuck on the mountain of Ararat. Okay. That's what the Bible is saying. Mm -hmm. Some of the people who like traveling, like Fatima and you, they said they saw the pieces of the ark somewhere in Mesopotamia next to Iraq. Okay. They said there are pieces over there. I don't know whether it's the truth mm -hmm. or not. Mm -hmm. But what has been created by law by the court never disappears. Yes, it that, is why, that is why the Mount uh, Golgotha is still there. Yeah, Mount Sinai. Why? Yeah. So that the coming generations. Must, must the see evidence. the evidence of what the Lord has done and the powers that are invested on this Lord that you are worshiping. That's right. Now, Noah survived right. with whoever was there. But now, the Lord decided because it was just, remember, they were taken away from the Garden of Eden. Yes. So they had to stay somewhere. Yes. Now they decided to build the Tower of Babel. 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 That this tower was not the God's initiative. Yes. It was the yes. human race initiative. Mm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. He never instructed them to do that. Mm -hmm. He never. Yes. So they wanted actually to expand going up. Reason being that well, they want the to heaven. touch and to reach the heavens. Yes. Of, which is, of which is impractical. So the Lord, because he can really read our minds and read our yes. thoughts, then he decided, uh-uh, down, I'm going to spread you in. Scatter you, scatter you throughout the world, and that is why we've got all these continents and languages, yes, and well, languages, that's what I wanna and say. races, yes. and nations, and that's what I want to add in there because it is actually in the Bible. Just to yeah. rewind a little bit because we are also still short for time, and I haven't even gotten to Fatima yet. But going back to chapter three, right, of Genesis, where Mom was making a, a point, a reference uh, about the the God, the tree that was in the garden. Of, of Eden and, and, and I, I went blank. Um, it's actually found there in chapter 3 verse 2 to 4. It, it says um, uh, the woman said to the serpent we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden and you must not touch it or you will die. And then verse 4 says you will not surely die. The serpent said to the woman for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So it is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That's, that's why right. we're not supposed to, to, because that now that's what entered us into sin. And now coming yeah. back to just what mom was saying about the Tower of Babel, when she says that because God is wise, um, we will find it in the verse, uh, chapter 11. Uh, verse 5 says, But the Lord came down to see the city as it was being built and the tower that the men were building. The Lord said, If as one people uh, speak in the same language they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be possible for, for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each mm. other. So the Lord scattered them from there all over the earth mm. and they stopped building the city. That is why it was sure. called Babel because... There the Lord confused the language of the whole world. Yes. From there the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. So that's why we've got all nations speaking various languages. As you see today, it's because of the fact that this Tower of Babel was being built and God needed to grab a hold and control of the human yes. race because they were getting lost within you know, their existence. So with that, I just want to slot in if I can. I don't know how, many, how much time I still have left. Fatima, just coming to you. What what is what are you what do you feel is being layered into your heart just to share um, about anything again in the book of Genesis or what we are currently discussing? Is there anything you wanna oh add in there? Because I'm just this taking is, it all in to be quite honest. Like I'm just taking it all in. Uh, wow, this is this is very thick. 
it is. It, it is, is indeed. very mm. thick, layered. Mm -hmm. But the lesson here is that we see uh, humanity is purpose. That's yes, right. uh, oh, because so God has created us that's for powerful. a purpose. Mm -hmm. But as mom said that, you know, sin came. Sin came. And then instead of us having a purpose, mm -hmm. their failure was. That's right. That's you right. know? That's right. But uh, what I like is that God didn't give up. Yes. Mm -hmm. God continued, yes. you know. He wanted, you know, uh, uh, he, he, he wanted uh, uh, a clean start, if I can put it that way. He wanted a clean start. Um, yes. you know, through, uh, through Noah, as yeah. mom said, you know, through Noah, because he wanted to get rid, yes. you know, mm -hmm. of, of the scene that That's had taken right. place, right. you That's know, right. through, uh, in the garden of, 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 of Eden. Eden. Yes. yes. And I'm so grateful that today, you know, uh, mom had to break it down. We yes. thank the Holy Spirit that That's mom right. had to break it down and give us an understanding that before uh, we are spirit men, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. before we are spirit men mm -hmm. more than mm -hmm. anything yes. else. That's right. That's and right. I think that, you know, uh, most of the time uh, we don't realize, mm. uh, you know, uh, the capabilities that we have, so right? We just, we just continue with our lives and not having, mm. you know, mm. Uh, the divine knowledge that mm. God has given yes. us from beginning. Right. So now the book of Genesis is basically taking us back. Mm. And as it is taking us back, somebody, I, I just hope that, you know, you, you are taking notes as it's mm. taking us back. Basically, God is, you know, taking us back to creation mm -hmm. from where he he started things mm -hmm. and we see God giving us these chances these chances these okay. chances mm -hmm. and I know that mom is going to continue <laughs> breaking this down mm -hmm. because it just doesn't end it doesn't there end it doesn't it. end the there so mm -hmm. you need to know that through these failures because of sin mm -hmm. we still have a purpose mm -hmm. and that is why God is giving us these chances mm -hmm. Over and right, over. and just um, as I'm closing, uh, it's still the two Be before aspects. Before you close, can I just interrupt and add on what Fatima just said? I loved the word mm. "one purpose." Mm -hmm. We are living for one purpose. Mm -hmm. The purpose being, we are living for God. Mm -hmm. Yes, through Jesus Christ amen. for our own benefit That's right. and the benefit of the coming generation. That's amen. Exactly Thank right. you for that, my and, dear. And, Thank exactly you, right, and as, as I was saying, Mom, that is so powerful, and there is there's no more truth than sure. that. It's exactly what the Word of God actually speaks to, and two attributes aspects actually that we see that's also consistent is that when when the Bible says God is love, it means exactly that because you can even see that He already loved us although we were in sin. Mm. So so Adam and Eve sinned. He came in with the flood, still rescued the lineage of yes. Noah. Mm. That's God's love. Yes. He just wouldn't let go. He would have just done away mm -hmm. with everything. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's got the power to have just That's right. Mm. I'm Destroy done with the human race. Yes. I'm done. Yes. But he's a merciful God. That's right. And he still, his purpose still had to prevail. Exactly what you are talking about. His purpose still had to prevail. And it speaks to his power and his love. And also the other thing that sticks out for me is his holiness. Mm. God can coexist with sin. Yes. The minute sin came in, there was already separation. Mm, they were separation. taken out of the Garden yeah. of Eden, which was yeah. the presence of the Lord. And yeah. he removed himself from the equation. Yes. And you couldn't coexist with sin and, and the earth continuing as it was. It had to be cleaned up. We had to start fresh. The but then again, because his purpose had to be standing, because the God is the word of his own word. Mm -hmm. His word will stand, he says. Everything else will disappear That's because right. God is his word. Mm -hmm. His existence and his foundation still stayed, although he cleaned up everybody and started, like you said, Fatima, from the beginning with Noah. Mm -hmm. So on the second generation, that's what actually transpired. And this also speaks to the character of the God that we serve. And this is how we should be striving to live as his children because we are representative of the kingdom of the living God. Right? Are we going to be perfect? No. Are we perfected in Christ? Yes. That's why the Holy Spirit comes in. But just in closing, that's what I really wanted to share. And thank you so much, ladies. You're thank welcome. you, Mom. You're thank welcome. you, Fatima. This is so powerful, ladies. I feel like the Holy Spirit is just giving us utterance 
to be able mm. to know what to say because going back to the beginning this world today will run away with you and there's mm. so many philosophies so many teachings so many things out there you get consumed and overwhelmed by so much mm. information without weight behind it without begging behind it that's why i'll still encourage you go back to the word read the word for yourself see what we've said yes. does it actually tally Amen. with the word of god because we are all about the breath of truth and that yes. of the truth of yes. god so in closing thank you so much for joining us thank you thank ladies you. For, for being here thank you for i will thank carry on with heart still you know there we go genesis genesis <laughs> now the word generations is in my head genesis again on part three where mom will just pick it up again from where she left off and with that thank you so much for joining us please do stay tuned again as we unpack the book of genesis further thank you ladies thank you and so from thank you for us, thank you. we'll see you again next time thank you